Hello everyone! How is everybody? Hopefully you're all doing well. Happy Tuesday! Surprise stream! I don't normally stream on a Tuesday, but I kind of owe you because I didn't stream yesterday. <laughs> I didn't stream uh, over the weekend, so I, I officially owe you some streams. So we'll see if we get into downfall, see if it works. It's not working at the moment. It's always a good start. Okay, there we go. Let's see how we get up. Hopefully your Tuesday's been well though. I actually managed to sleep, so that's why the the, the vampire potato is back. Because I managed to get some very, very much needed sleep. <laughs> Very much needed sleep. Um, let me move that a little bit over here. Nope, wrong way. Better? Nice. There we go. Downfall loading. Yellow again. Hey, we have loaded. Oh, that's very loud. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we want English, please. And I need to skip. Skip. Oh, that's a good start. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, I guess that would probably be my only kind of issue with this is the fact that um. Uh, yes, because we just, we left off uh, where we joined Agnes, didn't we? We were playing as Agnes last time I played this. Um, but yeah, so I guess that would kind of be the only issue that I have with it, is that you have to play that every single time. There is, there's, there's no kind of option. It's just every time you load up the game, the prologue automatically plays. You have the option to skip it, but it's still a bit like... Mm. Uh, talk to the moose's head. Um, you see a lot of stuff going on in this room, don't you? <laughs> Probably. Uh, can we open a window? It's already open. Lovely weather. Lovely weather for fishing. Probably don't need to lie down. Warm, so there's nothing in here. So I'm very confused because we died at the end of the last one. Oh. Who is it? The door's locked and I don't have the key. So please go away, yeah? No. I'm calling the police. Calling the police. Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like it. I'm scared. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. Everything's fine. We need to get out of here. Blanket. Use the blanket. Use the blanket. Use the blanket. Take the blanket. There we go. Can I take the things off the bed? Take the bed throw. There we go. Okay, so I've got the bed throw. Can I use? No. Maybe I need to do it at the window. I'm, I imagine she's going to freak out because it's going to be a really long drop down. Climb out. It's a little too high to jump. I... Uh, it's just an old blanket. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to tie it to something first? Do I need to tie it to the door? Huh. I'm not turning the radio on because I'm going to know I'm definitely in. Oh, maybe tie it to the moose's head. I should stop saying. Hey! Hey, Zorigo! 
Okay, let's let, let's start with the bed bedroom right, then. <laughs> How are you? How is your day going so far? And I'm gonna tie the blanket to it as well. And yeah, I don't feel like the that moose's head is gonna be sturdy enough to fit my backside. So good job I didn't muck around much longer. Oh, there she goes up. Climb, Agnes, climb! Got stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff today. Yeah, we're not too bad. Equally tired. Like, I'm not as bad as I was yesterday because I did. Oh, oh! She just fell! <laughs> ah, she face planted. She's alright, though. Ow. That probably smarted a little bit. Um. Yeah, so I actually managed to get some good sleep last night. So I, I'm feeling better in the sense that, um, you know, I've got sleep. But at the same time, I'm a bit like... You know, when you haven't slept for, like, a long time and then all of a sudden you start sleeping and it's just like, ah. Oh. Lock, but that's right. I don't intend to go back in there. Okay. Thank you. I'm very relieved. And it was one of those proper good sleeps. Do you know where you um I literally I went to I went to sleep about Is that Yeah, so that that's okay. Yeah, so it it was a it was a case of I went to I went to bed at about twelve and fell asleep. And ordinarily, I wake up at like two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I have like really right regular get ups to go and do like get a drink or go to the toilet or something. I had nothing. I literally I went to sleep and I just was dead to the world until seven o'clock when my alarm woke me up. <laughs> Blocked, of course. I could probably climb over it if I wasn't wearing the stupid wedding dress. Get closer to the cat. Hey, car. How you doing? My favourite book is Harry Potter. <laughs> is that not what it means if I get closer to the car? Car. Open door. Shh. You didn't see anything. Plausible deniability. <laughs> In the ignition. The it's the key. The key is in the ignition. So the door fell off, and yet the car still working. Genius. No, because the car's not at the right angle, which means you would have to drive the car to get it to the right angle, and then put something on. Because, oh, you mean there. Okay, fair enough. I will let you off, Agnes. That's actually a pretty fair idea. Can I use the car door? But the door isn't even there anymore. What are you doing? <laughs> right, um... Can I use the leaf? <laughs> Looks rather large, like it's covering something weightiest. <laughs> Push. Why have 
laufen. <lacht> She's not gonna use that bit for putting the car fiddle down. She's gonna use it for something else. <laughs> she's gonna take it home. And then she's probably call it Barry. I'm taking it. <sighs> <sighs> I'm crying. Not that way, you stupid car. What did you put it in gear? But I mean, to be fair, you did just use a penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're complaining about it. it. Broke the fence. You did lose Barry, though. <laughs> Can I take it back? <laughs> Hopefully, the rain put out fire. Wait a minute. Car on fire in woods. Hang on a minute. Is this a reference to the cat lady? Because the cat lady had a scene like this. If you remember, there was the car on fire in the woods, and you walked past it when you were Susan in 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 the other on the other side. I suppose technically we did die as well, didn't we? We were murdered. Oh, I wonder whether we're going to meet the Queen of Maggots. I had achieved an... I, oh my god, I achieved an, a lot of <laughs> an achievement for that. I've just seen it in the bottom right. It's clipped. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Somebody do me a favour and research and research what the achievement is that I unlocked for using the male genitalia <laughs> for the car. Yeah, I think we're in the bit with the Queen of Maggots. Okay, so we'll go down. It wouldn't let me clip it just then. No. To be fair, I've noticed that if you if you attempt to clip in um, using the app, it it's just dreadful. Oh. Am I gonna regret picking up this little doll? I think I am. So skinny. What a terrible role model for little girls. She kind of looks like a brush with that mane of thick hair. It's not a good time to play with doll. <laughs> oh god, that was hilarious. Well, it was nice having a Twitch channel while it lasted. <laughs> Ooh. That's grim. Oh, this is going to be a maze, isn't it? I got an achievement. Hey. I got an achievement. You got an achievement? What did you do? <laughs> I used the male body part to break the car again. <laughs> oh, well, did you use a ding dong? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot. You cannot give me that option and expect me not to run with it. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright. There's another corridor up here. Hmm. 
Ну так ведь. I'm a bit concerned about the, the 666. Hello, Skinny! How are you? Okay. I don't... Mm, this is weirding me out a little bit. Right, so we're going to go past this way. We go past this corridor. So that might just be looping. Ah, it was just looping. That's a lot of it's the spoopy season. <laughs> it literally is really annoying. Okay, that's a good start. <laughs> just hang on, I'll figure it out. Smash it up. Smash the pumpkin. Mm. Oh. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be, that's going to be useful for something. It wouldn't let me do it if it wasn't useful. Okay. Mm, so that's where I've just come from. Um, this was the entrance, wasn't it? Ah, we could use... Because even she was like, was this wall, wall here before? This is where we picked the doll up from. That wall is where we first walked in. So they're very slowly blocking us in. Got that with that. So we walk down here, and we have a corridor here. This corridor here takes us down here. And that loops us back round. That's the pumpkin way. Okay. I'm just getting my bearings at the moment. <laughs> yeah, because that loops us back to that side of it. That's fine. And if we walk past this, we get back to there. Okay. So we'll go back up the corridor. Okay. Bash is taking me back there. The triple six room is the pumpkins. I also don't like the fact there's a skeleton in this wall. Agnes is too calm about this. Oh, Ivy! Hi! How's it going? Why is she sitting alone in an empty room? She must be mad. That's not helpful, Ivy. Optimistic. Um, that's exactly what I thought, and that's exactly why we should leave. Yeah. It's too late for that. What? Why? It's not too late for Ivy. It's complicated. Yeah, it's not that complicated. Let's go. Don't really want to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. We can just go. Really? In a place like this? It's none of your business. Let's go. Rude. 
Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But it's some crazy mother. Who's got an axe? I know. She will never let me go. Who? Who's she? Okay. She... <laughs> Hell yeah, we're going for the bottom oh, option. The right bitch. Still, no matter how bad she is, I'm sure she's at least not planning to decapitate us. <laughs> like the like the other guy. You don't know her. She is the monster that keeps me here. Well, even more about a girl. Crawl inside my head and refuses to leave. Hope nobody's eating. <laughs> she's a god and the devil, a trickster of the moon. Hmm. Don't pop him. Don't worry. I wonder whether she's talking about the Queen of Maggots. I wonder whether Ivy is a bit similar to uh, Susan, but she chose the wrong option. Then get out of here while you still can. But how? This place is full of dead ends. And lost. There is one way. It leads right through her house. But maybe. Maybe you can. Coming with me. Because me. I genuinely think this is the domain. This place is that shit crazy. Stop because me. there was the car on fire the in the woods. You I walked in no. to an area that looks exactly the same as the area where you cut where you had to get the knife from the deer. She constantly refers to maggots, and the options that you have on the conversations when you talk to the Queen of Maggots are are you God? Are you a devil or are you death? So Ivy has been obsessed with maggots. Everything that she talks about, whenever she's talking about these illusions that she has, she constantly talks about maggots. So I'm wondering whether Ivy at some point has had a break or it has like some sort of eat e because it's, it's obviously very highly implied that she has an eating disorder. I wonder whether the, uh, something that she's done has killed her. She's gone to the same house that Susan has, but she hasn't been a stronger Susan, and therefore Ivy is another victim of her. And therefore she equally keeps coming back, despite all the stuff that's happening, and the illusions that you're having as Ivy are very similar to the ones that you have when you're Susan. We're bringing Ivy with us. Off this chair right now <laughs> Go on, Agnes. You tell her. No, but you'll be fine. I will protect you. Come on. I'd be very interested if I am. Wait. I think this is one of the advantages of playing the cat lady first and then instantly playing downfall after. Is that you can you can kind of see some of the things that you've seen. Yeah. Me, yeah, and that's why Joe's able to keep going. To bust out of here. And therefore, because Ivy's not been able to do it, this is why it's now starting to affect Joe. That's why when you went into Joe's flat, you were likewise taken to a completely different space where Joe is now conflicting with himself. And now his personality has been split in between the murderer Joe and the nice Joe. Right, okay, so. So back this way. What's with the pumpkins? Yeah, pumpkins. Demon.
or the opposite. Or for me, that might be the opposite. Because when Susan starts the game, Susan is broken. And she has nothing keeping her going, which is what causes her to commit suicide. Ivy still has an incredibly strong connection to Joe. So I'm wondering whether that connection to Joe is, even though it's fading, it's still keeping her holding on to something. And that's why she is bringing Joe into it, because she's either going to break Joe or she's going to kill him. And then at which case that's going to finish Ivy off. That's why um, she whispers into Mitzi's ear right at the start of the game. It isn't just because she is going to die. It's because she's cursing anybody that gets involved with her to make sure that they end up a horrendous in pile of insanity. But it's just a theory. I don't know. I may be completely incorrect. We're here. No. Oh. That's the door I was telling you about. Okay, fair enough. I'll pretend I believe you for now. No matter how crazy this sounds. Nope, there we go. Told you there was a reason. And we have a perfect door handle. Hmm. Now, how do we use it? Push it. Push it real good. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Little man's fast asleep. Oh. No. No. So sorry. <laughs> We're not going to try and get back for her. She's a ghost now. <laughs> She's with Jesus. Not appreciating the mouse on the wall. Not going to not going to lie. That's the queen of maggots. Who Who are you? I have so many names. Who do you think I am? Is who you think? This is definitely, definitely the Queen of Maggots. Because that, there you go. A demon, are you the devil? You must be the bitch that poor girl was talking about. That's literally what she says to Susan. I think I annoyed her. Oh, she took the door away. I definitely, definitely upset her. I can see why they definitely completely remade uh, Downfall. If they're going to Come put it... Closer. Yeah. If they're definitely going to um, put the links in that they have. There she is, look! I'm not as scary as you think. But it's interesting that she's different. Like her appearance is completely different. So I wonder whether, very similar to the devil, the Queen of Maggots has the ability to change her look depending on who it is that she's talking to in order to make them do a deal with her in order to come back in. Because she, But she always seems to be portraying herself as some sort of old lady even if she changes how she looks. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop with the theories now. <laughs> Because <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to get anywhere. Uh, sorry girl, would like a car, a clown car honk. <laughs> Please, be my guest. Have some soup. Good soup. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Why? Is there something wrong with my soup? Love it. Yes. Hmm. There really, really is. <laughs> I love Agnes. It's blood. <laughs> it's tomato. 
Mato. No, it's no, it's not. Liar. I don't trust oh, her. Dear girl. Why so rude? Calling me names. When all I'm trying to do is to be a good host. If you want to be a good oh, host, let me go. Guest. <laughs> I'm not eating blood. Thank you very much. Mm. Then stop. Because I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of you. Where is Jack? Do you know Joe? Oh, I know him well. He's uh, a friend of a friend. Of a friend. The friend is Ivy. He came by not long ago. Did you give him your soup? He only tasted it. Why does that sound like a euphemism? Building up quite an appetite for it. I can tell. I've been warned about you. I met a young girl who said you were a monster. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she kind of sounds like one. Do I look like a monster to you? No, but you sound like one. Not really, but looks can be deceiving. And why are you telling me this? I, I guess I felt sorry for the girl. I think you've done something really horrible to her. That, my dear. But between you and me, the bitch had it coming. Wow. Who are you? I mean, who are you really? Why? <laughs> no, it wasn't very nice. Um, yes, the bitch some girl told you about. Huh? Yeah, you, you are. You said you have many names. <laughs> I'm just curious which one is real. <laughs> I've not used my real name for a long time. Hmm. I don't need names. I am the queen of maggots. <laughs> Adored and feared by all. And I was right. Who called it? I called it. Yet. Who called it? I called it. But there was once another name. Am I right? Yes, there was. <laughs> Karen. But why would I tell you about it? Why not? You don't even belong here. Just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. Keep it that way. Um. Fine. Keep it. Whatever. I ain't eating the soup. Trying to be friendly. <laughs> it was nice chatting about soup, <laughs> but I think I'll go now. You can't really claim that, Agnes, when we've insulted her non-stop. It's been vaping in the oven for a while now. Why do I feel like this is going to be Joe? Mm, maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. Goodbye. Oh, I've checked the fork. Have you changed your mind about the soup? Nope. No. I just want the spot. I just wanted to borrow this fork for a minute. If you're not going to eat, leave the cutlery for the next guest. All right. Rude. Have you lost something, dear? I was just. Don't. Oh. One more thing. Yeah. Okay. Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? What? No. Why? No. Just a little tradition in my house. I ask. Did she tell you her name? I messed it now. Rest. Okay. She got mad at us because I think we insulted her a bunch. She did say that she was uh, the queen of maggots, and I did the whole little victory dance. Oh, I don't think I can go without doing it, can I? That painting's eyes just followed me. And that's awful. You've played this a few times, um, Dan. I'm guessing that you never find out her name depending on the options that you choose. Um, 
No, you do. No, you do. Hmm. I think you have to say something like, I'll eat the soup if you tell me your name. Oh. I did think about that, and I was like, no. Oh dear, here we go, we're killing someone off. You cannot call one of your freaking achievements that. No. 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 Bro, oh, Dan, can you do me a favour? Can you find out what the achievement is called? The one that I unlocked for using the male genitalia to weigh down the car. I got an achievement for it. I don't know what it was though, I didn't realise. Is she still in there? She's gone. Ah, crowbar. I knew it. I'm gonna take your crowbar, woman. I think it's called the penis award. Is it just called the penis award? <laughs> It's now chill. Okay. I'm guessing this is gonna be my body. Right. Let's do this. Oh no, we're switching to Joe now. Do you think? Not really. Um, you're more like a hideous, slimy creature from the sun. I'm just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. I did. <laughs> that's what I thought when I first saw you. It was five years ago. I'm I got an achievement call it, <laughs> called for it. <laughs> Jump in! <laughs> you're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, well, of course you would say that. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because <laughs> you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. I mean, to be fair, I don't blame him. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> change who I am. I try to stop it. I try, but it always comes back. And I do it again and again. Okay. Right. We're not going to be mean to Ivy. So we're going to say, you can talk to me about it. To me about it. I, I can't, really. You can, it really. Matter. Just worrying about nothing nowadays. You know what I mean. I do. And I can see there's something you're not telling me. I will. I'm not going to because it was just baby. No, I'll talk about it. I'm here for you. 
Okay. I've been making myself sick. There we go. Of course it was. And I'm so sorry. I really want to do this, but it's so easy. <laughs> Just to stick fingers down my throat. Oh, Ivy. In the mirror again. You silly girl. Being a woman is not a justification for doing that. Can I say something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those romances. Please. I mean, yeah, she's got a point. You're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Wow. 12. UK average is size 16, love, is all I'm saying. But no, this is definitely bringing up a very interesting um, issue with uh, the way media, etc., portrays women um, and the fact that, you know, they, they automatically presume that incredibly skinny means incredibly healthy and not at all. Not at all. That's why I've told you. Yes. Yeah. So I could stop. Good. Oh, thank you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. Yes. You can Good idea. Shit together, Alex. Good. Are you Lord. mad at me? No, because it, it's not really her fault. Three things on my coffee table. Okay, that's not too bad. No. Never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. Yeah. We should totally get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. Mm. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat. Why get a cat. Not? Get a cat. Get a random happy Pull it, Tico. Is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. <laughs> it will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. Yeah. And it will stick. And purr. And stick. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Don't do that because you'll probably end up killing it. Poor cat. <laughs> what shall we name him? Teacup. 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 Mr. Fluffy, George, Whiskers, Midnight, Tiger, Lucifer, Shadow, Buddy. Um Midnight? Hmm. We're getting close. Hmm. But that's not it. No, she doesn't like that. Um Shadow. Shadow. Not for a cat. A horse, maybe. Okay, I get that. Um Mr. Fluffy. Mr. Fluffy. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, she doesn't like that one. George. But it's a freaking cat. Yeah, because that's why it's Think funny. It. It's a cat called George. <laughs> that's good. We can do it better than that, Joe. Okay, fine. Buddy. Buddy. We're not eight, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> tiger. tiger. A tiger? Don't be silly. You can have a black tiger. You can call it Lucy for sure, like in the TV show. Hmm. Yes, that's good. I mean, it's bad. I knew for a while they were going to go with Lucifer. That's why I was making a point of putting every option apart from well, Lucifer. That's cool, then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. Hey. You know, there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome. Yeah, that's uh, Susan. You too. <laughs> oh wait, she wasn't talking to me. Okay, fine. 
just want someone to love me. I'm a sad vampire potato. This is not fucking happening. Okay, not gonna lie, this is genuinely a fear of mine. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of the one of my greatest things is like. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Help. That's not really a scream. Help. Let me out. Is there anyone there? We don't like this bit. <laughs> There's no one out there, Joe. Who the hell are you? Might as well give up now. It's easier that way. No. How do you know my name? The maggots told us. Maggots. They told us all about you. Maggots. That look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want Let's is get to over here, all cause... that maggots want is to eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> I thought they'd at least go eat your ass. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Plenty of fellas and them maggots. Am I dead? No. Death comes slowly. It's a process, you see. All in the right time. This is kind of freaking me out a bit. So, start scratching. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. But Joe. But Joe. Here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the void. Some call it the grave. Some call it six feet under. And what do you call it? call it the tomb. But we like to call it. There we go. Wait for it, Joe. The paradise of the rotten flesh. <laughs> not the worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to die this. Hmm? I call it the back garden. <laughs> Someone's left a little gift for our good friend Joe. Lucky him. Always led a charmed life, this one. Um, such. What did they leave me? Did they leave me a, a crowbar? You know very well what it is, Joe. You won't be out of here. The only escape. That's a gun. <laughs> what you gotta do. Talk with you again. No. No, Joe. It's all over. It will only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the Don't right really know what to say in this morning. <laughs> your face. Not that there'll be much of it left. I mean, this voice acting is very good, I have to say. Choose a faster way, choose a slower way. Oh. I have a feeling something better is going to come if I take the slower way. I feel like if you pull the trigger, that's just kind of going to be it. Okay, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, 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 thank goodness I chose the quicker way. It is the slower way. It's you, Agnes. She what saved are us. What are you doing in there? I guess the X Men put me in there. He probably did. Everything's That's fine. Cool. Everything's fine. You can look away from the How wall now. You... How did you find me? I guess it was destiny. 
Hmm. I guess it was a fr You're welcome. Yeah, not a nice place. What can I say except up. you're welcome for dragging your ass out the cup? You're very welcome, Joe. You are very welcome. I'll let you off. I didn't allow you to finish. My apologies. <laughs> I went straight into it because, to be fair, my first thought if I'd just been buried alive, well, not buried alive, but put into a coffin, is the moment somebody opened it up, I am leaping on them and saying thank you. <laughs> That's just me. Okay. Uh, what's his opinion? Ivy always liked the beach. She'd spend hours just picking up seashells or throwing pebbles in the water. What about the wall? Um, so basically, um, because I was contemplating whether to uh, pull the trigger or not, um, uh, uh, the sorry girl was just... Kind of letting everybody know to look at the wall so they don't have to see it. It's it's a it's a uh, long-standing uh, reference to something that we have um, when things are potentially trigger or content warning that are coming up or about to come up on the screen. It's very heavily implied that you can that that it's coming. You you tend to say look at the wall so you don't see it. Hope that makes any hey, a little sense. You died. I mean, what is my purpose in all this? Um, I don't know. The doctor hm. said you were important, but he didn't really explain why. Important? I like the sound of that. Yeah. Bear in mind that the doctor seemed crazy as a loon. Rude. Now, don't be jealous, Joe. Just hm. because I'm more important than you. Yeah. Uh, we're not living this yeah, down for whatever. a while. Can we please go now? I don't want to see another coffin for the rest of my life. That's fair. Oh. Okay. We're back in Quiet Haven. Sure looks like it. Don't remember there being any doors in the floor. Um let's start from the very beginning. Yay, story time. <laughs> Yay. Not really the kind of story you'd like story to hear. <laughs> I expected that much, but let's hear it anyway. My wife Ivy has this illness. It's yeah. kinda weird. She goes on these diets that go on forever. Good then, eating disorders, my dear boy. Pretend she's okay, so she goes hiding. But I'm not blind. I can see quite well what went on. Mm. And I was worried as hell. I wondered. I needed to help her. So Good. I arranged a little romantic getaway. A weekend in a nice country hotel. Mm. And we ended up here. <laughs> um. I feel like Joe would blame himself. I'm not even sure. She didn't want to talk to me at first. That's when we first got here. And when we finally got to our room, I kind of wish we never opened our mouth at all. Hmm. We had a big fight. She was gone. gone home? No. Taken away. Kidnapped. But I don't know. Fucking crazy, but... A little bit, but I am I am currently in a room with doors that go across the walls and the ceiling, so I'm guessing this is a standard. Um something that lives in the mirror. Have you seen it? I have to kill four memories of this monster. I have to kill four memories of this monster to open the mirror. What? There are 
Ghosts. Memories. Is anything here real anyway? Who knows? This is all <laughs> just a bad dream, and I'm not going to think twice about it when it comes to saving me. Good husband. But you can't. Oh, I've heard of it. I can't believe you would do such a thing. Mm, I kind of popped a girl's brain, so... Uh... What choice do I have? I can't leave Ivy to die. But you can't just murder somebody. Well, I already have, so I might as well finish. <laughs> you already did. Yeah, she figured it out. And you're currently wearing a dress. I only gave her the pillow. I'm starting to think I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not a good guy after all. <laughs> not equal the hideous. Um, killing the first one made the mirror. Can't really deny it. <laughs> Do you really believe Ivy's inside the mirror? Yeah. Yes. You'll change your mind when you see her. The first one practically begged me to kill her. Yeah. Still not a fan of the center. I'll hold my judgment for now. Hmm. Okay, like Anything else I need to know about? Do we need to blow up an atomic bomb at some point? Are we opening an yeah, sure. portal for the man eating beast to plunder the earth? Hmm. The hotel manageress likes me a little too much. Okay. Yeah, to be fair, she does. She's a bit totally beyond me how any woman could like a guy like you there's nothing wrong with me do you like her too no damn She's magnus crazy. that explains it anything else she went for the jugular with that one i think i accidentally killed a cat joe <laughs> how do you, how do you accidentally kill a cat your mommy don't you when she was it folds hey <laughs> Hi Rex, how you doing? How is your Tuesday treating you? I just tried to catch it. I was just trying to catch it. Joe, be honest with me. Mm. Are you some sort of psycho? No, mm, maybe. The cat had a key, and I needed it. Maybe. I didn't mean for it to die. I, I don't even know why I brought this up. Ugh. I well, I hope work's not doing too bad. Any more skeletons in the closet? Um, you got someone else's oh brain. God. Someone else's brain. Did you do what? <laughs> yeah. Whose brain? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Some guy. That keeps me pushed with a bucket really of dust. Yeah, to be but fair, I, you can't I argue with that. My brain. Sorry. It wasn't someone there. Someone told me that this cord doesn't work at all. Okie dokie. Yeah, no, that's for it. No worries. I will. What else do I need to know? I will. I think to be fair, most people know that you are um, my. You're on your jollies, so I can't imagine they'd be um, expecting no. much of a conversation from you anyway. So, but no, no worries. I'll I'll, I'll pop a message in. What? Just before we got attacked by the axe man. Yes. You said you had a message. Yes. A note or she did. Ah, yes. Completely forgot about it. Turn around. Oh, she did actually. Okay. Lead the way, dude. Let's go save your wife. Yeah. <laughs> I am loving the sassiness that is Agnes. Better be worth it. Invitation card. Oh, so I don't get to see. It's signed. It's a signed invitation to the party. Apparently taking place in function room A of the Quiet Haven Hotel. It's got Joe Davis plus one written on it. <laughs> do it do it oh <laughs> no <laughs> did not appreciate that thank you well Man oh, I really don't want to go in the manager's office because that's the woman that's like handsy. She doesn't understand that no means no. Is that am I literally do I not have a choice? Lock shut. Ah, so this must be yes, yeah, so this is the fourth floor. That's why 
it wasn't working properly. Let's pull the piano out of the way. Give me a hand, Agnes. Okie dokie. Yeah, no worries. That's Thanks. fine. <laughs> Was that it? Was that it, Bleach? Is that the thing that you saw? <laughs> Because in which case, you missed this Chadwin. Uh, we pushed the statue off and the statue broke into pieces and I had the opportunity to either take a head, a leg or the male genitalia in order to uh, complete the puzzle. I will allow you to guess what I, what object I chose. <laughs> See if you can guess. Okay, that's just the left. Anything in here? We're outside. Oh. <laughs> These nuts. I did I did indeed pick it up. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, is that they kept the shape of it and everything in the inventory. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> I think it's like the first half an hour in. <laughs> Go watch the bod. It's hilarious. Um Sorry, girl said that she's gonna create a clip for it. <laughs> yes, it's a house, Joe. Not just any house, you smartass. My wife would make it. She used to dream that one day we'd get a place outside the city. You couldn't have tarted it up a bit in your in in in, in your in your dreams. She always liked red flowers, and I would drive a red Cadillac. Just saying. My dad had one back in the states. Like that thing over there. By the shed? Why does it sound like something's burning? Okay, I'm not actually in control of this. No, it's currently looks yeah. like it's crashed. Exactly <laughs> Into like that this. tree. God damn it. Why did you fuck it all up? One of those things, unfortunately. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Can we go into the house? We can. Um, can we use the phone? Now, this this definitely gives me uh, a uh, American attempt to create British houses. I'm not quite getting it, because <laughs> that to me looks more like an older like. American suburb house than a British one. I'm not really hungry. When did food become such a problem in our lives? Um, it's empty. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Hey, and guess what's inside it's, it? That's. Mm. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> weed? Like cannabis? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Yep. Oh, yeah, he answered the first there again. Tell me off. Can you smoke this stuff, Joe? Okay. Mm, yeah. Yep. I'll take some with me, actually. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because unfortunately, there's no way that's anything else. <laughs> okay. Not quite sure of the picture not quite sure of the artwork either i'm just gonna go fine i don't have a choice the stairs seem to end suddenly like there's nothing at all up there Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all, <laughs> not at all, I'm not, I'm not fucking going over there. <laughs> Hi Sophie, is this the last incarnation of Sophie? There's almost nothing human about her. I doubt I get a reply. Besides, I don't really want to talk to her. I want to kill her, but how? 
Just gonna go. Do I have a. Got some. Castor, I can give you. Some, can I give you some money to go away? What does it say on the castor oil after? Never to be consumed with blueberry pies. I wonder if I can poison her. Like, is there like a pie or something in the fridge? Because there's a, there's a reason that this specifically stating never use it with a blueberry pie. I wonder whether we've got to go like back to the kitchen or something. Yeah, little. <laughs> she was contemplating every single one of her decisions there, wasn't she? <laughs> you could tell she was like, should I really be going with you? You did just admit to murdering somebody. Biddy. Any particular reason for the drastic sudden music change there? Because I didn't fucking appreciate that, thank you. At all. Kind sir. Oh god, we're gonna have to go in the manager's office. Guys. A blueberry pie. Guys, I don't wanna go in the manager's office. I uh, yeah. Yeah. Not a fan of that noose. Not a fan of the, the, the painting on 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 the walls. The manager seems to be the member of staff here. Go back. Oh, just realised something. Got the shadow on the wall. That's a spoopy kind. This is a very spoopy kind. But we're just going to go. Well, let's go to the kitchen. Let's see if there's anything in the kitchen that we can kind of feed her with a castor oil that will probably cause her to be violently ill. Um, shouldn't be there. I shouldn't be there. Uh, the kitchen is on the ground floor. See, down we go, down we go. They're far too happy and content in this goddamn awful place. I like another kind of pie. What kind of pie do you do you like? I'm having a look at the paintings. No. Also, it's funny to see the lift key opening and shining. <laughs> uh, nothing in here. Let's go into the kitchen. Do you have any pies? Got some pot. It's empty. Poor piggy. Don't start feeling sorry for Piggy! Us. Born to die. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. This is true. Their brains are very similar to ours. Mm -hmm. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. Oh, you missed the optimistic. Talk I to the piggy. you're just a pig, but, but. I want to tell you... Oink, that... oink. Um... Seen as weird to just yell F off to a to a dead pig. So oh. <laughs> can I I can't talk to him anymore. I think it's dead or just sleeping. There's nothing in the pot where we just burn it. One big blender. So something's got to go in to that blender and, and that hob. And what? Oh, actually. Um, hmm. Can 
I put the castor oil in it. If I'm going to cook, I should probably follow some recipe. I could try using... I don't really know what to put. We've just been to her office and she's not there. I'm not that much in a rush to see it, to be honest. So she can go in the blender. Oh, she can go in the blender. Fair enough. Uh, maybe we go have a look downstairs? Tell off. I'm guessing she's not going to come down with us. I'm guessing this is going to be needed as well. We had a look at the shelves. But there's nothing there. Unless I can just give her the castor oil. I don't know whether that would make her ill. It might make her ill. I think because I think that that is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be making. Hey, Alex, how are you? How is your day? How is your Tuesday? So we've got one crack in there. From the first one. I'm so she queer eye. <laughs> no worries. Was it good? Who who are they sorting out today? So the only other thing that I can think of is that you are just supposed to give her the bottle. Um it's Sophie's room. So we went in to see Sophie. Anthony is so young, fair enough. Um, so there's nothing in here. This is where we uh, we killed the little girl. Because um, this is our room. There's some food here. Can I give her? I no, because that's just the thing. It's very old. Why? Why are you so old? Okay. So it's not this way. Let's, let's just try going onto all the floors. Because I don't remember whether we did what we needed to do on the third floor anyway. So that might be something we need to do. Um, I think it was 202, wasn't it? This was the room with the, with the mad doctor in. sit in the old sparky that's a terrible idea <laughs> yeah that's probably fair yeah so we can't oh wait okay something's happening did i break it no okay it just didn't allow me to press anything there for a second that was weird okay let's go back up to the third floor because that's i think that's the only thing you can kind of go into in here Good. at least they did it where they lock it so you you have your one specific area in whatever but at least they kind of did it in a good way of oh everything's just locked it makes sense it does make sense okay what have we got over here because we didn't really... Ah, wait, wait, the function room. We had a thing. We had a thing in here.
so much, she reckoned, doesn't it? So this is her when she's a little bit older. Hey girl! How are you doing? It's pretty hard to say because of the mask, but she seems pretty upset. Go away. Don't. Don't look at me. Bit too late for that now. Please. Come on, where's the body? <laughs> Said. He said I'm fat and ugly. Who? And that I should go and kill myself. Oh, honey, you tell me who, and I will. He will find out what it is like to go forty feet downwards <laughs> head first. People are cruel. Get over it. Whoever said that, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. No, he's right. He's really not. <laughs> he's always right. He's really not. Harrison. Harrison Ford. Men are freaking assholes. Fuck Harrison. You tell him, Joe. Find someone better. Girl, he's really not. <laughs> yeah, I do. Never be anyone like him. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. Come on, Joe. You are everything without him. He's nothing. I don't like where this is going. Oh, what will you do? What will you do? I'll hide somewhere. That's not gonna help. And I will eat like a pig, like a disgusting, hungry animal. Explains why the pigs are downstairs in the freezer, actually. Stupid, fat, funny, it was at this moment that you knew he fucked up. My bloody entrance. Are you going to go Mr. Career so style? Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. That's not funny. <laughs> Literally what abusing people make that. Exactly. Hit the nail on the head there, Alex. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't it... have to be this way. Tell him to go fuck himself. I've already made up my mind. Well, unmake it. Leave me alone now. Unmake up your mind. I mean, calling her fat and ugly on her birthday. It's a dick. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um. Hmm. Am I supposed to give her something? Do you like some money? Have some <laughs> Okay, so I can't do anything with that. Nope. I'm going to pay for here. I keep hearing you back in. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing you're Harrison. <laughs> Me and you need to have words, sweetheart. And you're going to cry like the little bitch you are by the time I'm finished with you. You're acting awfully tall for your actual height. You need to come down to a bit more manageable level. Like that of hobbits, maybe smaller. No, come back here. Come back here. Hi. Take your hands off my jacket, you asshole. Oh, me touching your jacket is the least of your concerns. There's something... Okay. It's trapped him. Agnes, can you keep him busy? <laughs> she walked all the way over there to come all the way back. I want to take a look at his coat. But we can see it quite well from here. No. Yeah, but not, but not inside. inside. Come on, Agnes, sweetheart. Hey there, got a moment? You will not believe what happened. I just have to tell someone about it. The key to his room, sweet. 
if you stop talking for just a moment, sweetheart, how about I show you my room? I don't think so. <laughs> you know you want to. I want to vomit and throw myself off the top of this building. Quite right, sir. Yes, you are. It's time to go, honey. Oh, pardon me. I didn't realize you two were a couple. But hey, if, if you get tired of him, you know where to find me. Yes, at the bottom of a building because I'm going to push you down the stairs. Or down the elevator shaft. You okay? It's about Why as much. Rain. Honey. I have to do something. The guy's a douchebag. That guy is a douchebag. No. Thanks for stepping in. Honey, look Honey. at the size of your heel. You I'm could have ended his story. entire I'm existence and his ability to produce children. Right, what, what's his room number? 203. Okay, let's go to 203. Also wondering what's going on over here. There's, there's, oh, this is the toilet. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I remember you. <laughs> I remember you and I remember why I walked out of that room post haste. Let's go to 203 then. Oh, no. Come on. The second floor, please. Ding dong. So do I have to murder him now or do I have to wait? Because <laughs> I kind of want to murder him now, I'm not going to lie. Exactly. It's a shame he's not the monster. 206, 205. I completely went the wrong way. God dang it. Oh, wait, 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 The ten pound a pack, I should put the money in the slot and press one. I get it. I get it. Use it for the cigarettes. Whoop, whoop. No, no, no. The pack got stuck. No. Out, you damn thing. That's what she Come said. Out. That's what she said. <laughs> Nothing. If only I had another tenor. No, well, you ain't got another tenor, mate. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Hmm. Seriously, we're gonna have to get another tenor. Maybe I can steal from this asshole. Some random things in that room. <laughs> this is a really weird room. Um, there's a torn page sticking out of the book. I'll take it. Hey! I'm gonna take. Take everything! Feels like Germany. <laughs> right, okay, let's go back to the cigarette machine. Let's try with another tenner. Nope. Finally. And all it took was thieving from my back. Uh, oops, crap. I have a feeling they maybe need it at some point. But I don't know why. Okay. So. What was the thing on the third floor, actually? That kind of reminds me. Oh, that's what we're doing now, isn't it? Um... Actually, what's, what, what's the torn up page say? Lady in a hat always watching, smiling. Make her not see blind the bitch. Okay. 
I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> Right, I know the room is where we got the syringe from, but I'm guessing there's... La ah, lady in a hat. Um... Maybe let's put some tape over her eyes? Yeah! Apparently it was Shadow. <laughs> Apparently it was. In this game, you couldn't be too careful, though. Uh, there's nothing in here. Hello. Oh, look. Was that the doctor? I'm just gonna take this bottle. You don't need it. It's fine. <laughs> it was. I thought it was Doctor Who. So the 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 doctor that created this fine lady. Oh God! Don't make me a tip. Oh, I don't really want to touch it. Let's go, sweetie. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. You didn't see anything. Yeah, the the one that created Agnes. Wonder what happened to him. Take his brain. I don't think there's much left. <laughs> I don't think there's much left. Oh. He's stiff. Oh. oh no! Don't! Don't! What is Dan Cooker doing in the bathroom? Hi! Where's my wife? You will never find her. Okay. She is mine. No, she's not. My well, do you want to go jog for her? <laughs> well, wasn't you? you disgust me. You, my dear, dear lady, disgust me. <laughs> Didn't appreciate that laugh at all. Strangler. Strangler. Hey, you should get a cat. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel bad. Not fair. Don't listen to her. She's trying to mess with your head, Joe. Yep, yeah, well, it's working. <laughs> I can't do this with my bare hands. I'll find another way. I'll put some gloves on. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me you're gonna make me cut off the thing, aren't you? I shouldn't cut okay, no, that's fine. Shouldn't cut this. Um, maybe the festival? No. Ah, no smoking. The urge is still strong, but I don't go on if it only takes one. Um, yep. Yeah, the gas is slowly filling the room. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry, I've got it under control. So then now. If I give her. Uh, 
Uh, maybe Harrison smokes? Oh. So then as soon as I leave the room... Nothing happened. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Right, I need to see then. I need to get some matches then, don't I? How's the party? It's all good. Go ahead, man. Grab a beer. Like I did. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I girl. do. She's a fucking nutcase, she is. Ow. Why? She's madly in love with me. And how's that a bad thing? Oh, man. That girl's ass is the size of a football stadium. Stupid fat bitch. I don't think I can do it without getting super wasted. I'm just gonna go grab a shotgun. I'll be right back, you know? Just tell her you're not interested. Yeah, but maybe I will be. Later. I just need a few more beers. Wow. Hey, you wouldn't have a, a cigarette, would you? I... Oh, wow, and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. I certainly do. Some. Just give me a second. Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, man. You can't smoke here. See that sign? Are you for real? Mm. Who gives a shit? Do it. Look, <laughs> we'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? Well, <laughs> Come to the kitchen slash bathroom. The room with all the big women. <laughs> dead women in there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. Laters. Uh, mm. Do I have to turn the gas back on? I might have to turn the gas back on. Uh, so that's the first floor. And the gas, if you can reconnect it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So they need to switch the gas back on, which is in the basement. Um... I wish you could. I wish they could run, because this is a big map for you to not have that opportunity. Go down. Okay. Uh, go. supposed to mean well i did take something from him what you don't want to know can you give it back no no he's being a bitch about it <laughs> but isn't he dead somehow it didn't stop him from pulling that lever back and i've got a feeling he'll do it again and again so if you can't give him what you want then maybe we can bring him something else instead Oh, do you know what, Chadwin? You might be right. You might be. Do you know how you said earlier about take his brain? And I was like, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of it left. Can't help but think you're right, because the thing that we took from him was his brain. Because that's what's currently in Agnes. And we can't take Agnes's brain back out. So I wonder whether... What floor? That was on the fourth floor. No, was it? It was the third floor, wasn't it? I mean, he never said it had to be an intact brain. Just a brain. Just grab a spoon and you just scoop it in. <laughs> just Scoop it in. Oh. 
yeah. I don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> Would you like one scoop or two scoops of brain, please? I'd like five on my ice cream star. <laughs> in in my hole head hole. Um Well nobody else has died. That's where Maggot Lady got a soup from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good soup. Good soup. Is that manager ass around? <laughs> Maybe we could kill her off. Um... Anything in here? Maybe I can... Excuse me, sir, I did not appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Piggy. Pretty sure at this point he probably is a psycho. And to be fair, she did say that pigs have an uh, so that was probably the big clue when she says pigs have brains about as good as that uh, about as good as ours. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was dead or not. I mean, I've already ended up killing a cat in this. I might as well go for a pig. Hi. Would you like a... Would you like a pinky brain? There we go. Is that okay now? I've switched it on. You have. I'm going to see you making a brain. I, d I think, I mean, t technically, Agnes is, um, is technically our bride of Frankenstein um, because her her brain is currently the, was what was in the guy's big heavy hole. So if we've already created the Bride of Frankenstein, we might as well go the whole hog. <laughs> ah, get it. Go the whole hog. Reckon you'll go try the cooker and the gas will be put off again. Maybe. I suppose it depends on whether he's he's uh, okay with his um, piggy-related sacrifice. Or replacement. If he's okay with his piggy replacement, he should be okay. Right, so we need to turn the knobs on. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh, it's not switched off. But the cigarettes are back in our thing, so... Hey, you wouldn't have a, a cigarette, would you? I'm all out and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. Uh, my dear sir, you deserve everything that is about to happen to you. You want another one? Hey, why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like no, smoke. No, she doesn't. But I'm about to like what's gonna happen. I'll be right back. No, you won't. That Harrison's gonna die. Harrison's gonna die. He is gonna do a heck an explosion where where you going Agnes <laughs> that's a bad idea to go into a place with lots of gas and someone smoking cigarettes so Now you're just somebody that I used to know. I need to. At least he went out with a bang. <laughs> At least he went out with a bang. 
Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. Oh come on! I've got so many. I've got so many hype. I've got so many jokes. He's finally acting his hype. <laughs> he has an explosive personality. <laughs> Ah, there we go, there's the second one. <laughs> I guess you could say that uh he, he oh Well done, Joe. I hope He's you're happy now. I I had to do this. He was well and truly I lit. <laughs> I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You yeah, are. that's fair. Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And Stay close, sweet. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Agnes! Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. What happened? I fell Just over some legs. You hope it was legs. Always an asshole. Always an asshole, Joe. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. He still made a joke about Harrison. <laughs> well, she did ask for a leg up. <laughs> mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! I did just say, mind your head. Coast clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good. To be perfectly honest. You've seen worse. Keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. Oh, nice. A recipe. Eat me. <laughs> Do I really have to take the head? Do I really have to? This is crazy, but that message carved on to, uh, on the head, it makes me think we should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? No. 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 Nothing to see here. Just Nothing at all. Me... Sticking a freaking human head into my backpack like that's normal. Um, okay, read. One deep fried belly fat, one pint of castor oil, which we've got, one glass of spirit, which we've got, one human head, because of course that's what it freaking is, which we've got, one oregano. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what the, the weed is, it's actually oregano. So we just need to have one deep fried belly fat. Oh god, don't tell me I've got to take it. Don't tell me I've got to take it from the bodies in the next room. Oh, I do, don't I? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Blend it together and enjoy. Yum. My fattening smooth. Oh, God. There's even a thing that says lump of fat on the floor. Oh, oh. I'm sorry if anybody's eating. I'm just, if you need me, I'm going to go do a freaking ivy and throw up in this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, his legs really are just there, aren't they? <laughs> his legs are just, just there. Just there. Should we go talk to, um... Okay, oh, I won... Which one was... I wonder which one I need to go and give that one to. So we need to go to the ground floor to the kitchen. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, and I've got to blend them all together in the blender. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> Alright, castor oil. What's for tea, everyone? Blended head castor oil belly fat oregano mix yum 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 
Jen. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now there, I am a tad slipper. Oh, God, the sound. What are you doing there, Joe? Um, you, you, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Is that a human head? Yeah. If you don't like it, don't look. But you can't. Oh, I mean. literally got to. I don't have a choice. What do you mean the recipe's missing again or something? Alright, no. It's not what I wanted. Oh, the belly fat. Of course. How could I forget that? Oh, oh. God, it even looks disgusting. Oh, do I need to cook it then? Not for it without oil. For goodness sake, Joe. <laughs> Alright, put some castor oil in. So you're cooking us dinner now? You don't want to eat. No. It's not for us. It's not for us. So oh, good. Good. You're yeah. not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No. Well, I think I'll try anyway. Yeah, because what I'm about to cook is fucking disgusting anyway. The oil is cold. For goodness sake. Right, turn on the hob. <laughs> Joe, work with me here a bit. Okay. So hot, I can't just stick my hand hey, out. I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thank you, Agnes, baby girl. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. She's so helpful. All right. Um. Oh God, it looks even worse, and I didn't think that was possible. Oh, the sounds. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, light round, like a <laughs> like a head in the blender, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a head in the blender, right round. <laughs> Sorry for freaking out like that. But Did that it... grinding noise. Yeah. It was too much. I mean I can <laughs> I can kind of understand why she freaked out a little bit. He literally just took a head and ground it in a blender. For what she sees as being no actual foreseeable reason. <laughs> doing this for ivy yeah i know she's gotta be worth it i don't Come think i don't think anyone's don't worth it take your smoothie i don't think anybody is 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 worth a blended head smoothie let's be honest <laughs> some other thing she probably did all right so I'm guessing then I don't think it's going to be 
So we have the smoothie. But it says my fattening smoothie. Oh no, she did say that she wanted to eat until she basically exploded. Um, let's go to the third floor. Because I wasn't sure whether it was supposed to be that or whether it was supposed to be the one in the house. But I'm, I'm more inclined to think it's this one, the party one, um, that we need to give this to. Mm -hmm. So I have good news and bad news, Sophie. Uh, the good news is that you don't have to worry about Harrison anymore. The bad news is that it's going to take a very long time to get his blood out of the carpet. She's gone. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No, not true. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? I bet it's got something to do with it. You think she took it? But where? Oh. Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Please don't tell me she's eating him. She's eating him! And then she's gonna eat us! Oh my god! Is his, ha is his body seriously gone? <gasps> what, the, what about the bottom half? No, the bottom half's still there. Love, you don't take the top half, you take the bottom half. Come on. <laughs> you want you want the important part. You want the bottom half. <laughs> Please don't kick me off from thingy. Right, two oh one, two oh two is over here, and we go around the corner to two oh three. Bottom half is out of service. <laughs> it didn't touch the side. <laughs> That's true. I've Ivy! Been... What are you doing here, girl? You're alive. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. She's only half the woman she used to be. <laughs> Just as we're talking about don't touching the sides. <laughs> Where? I can't see anything. She was here just a minute ago. I saw her. She was torn in half. Yeah, that was that was that wasn't pleasant. Joe, you're either losing the plot or you lo oh you've you lost the plot. Her, don't you? wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never talk to her. The thing with us women hmm. is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Well, yeah, I guess. Mm. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Hmm. I'd give you a medal if I had one, but I don't, so how about a fist bump? Fist bump! Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Give me a fist bump, girl! Yeah! Bump those fists. <laughs> I need to get as much enjoyment out of this as possible, because this is traumatizing me, I'm not gonna lie. Hi. to say hello darling we bought visitors he's a little preoccupied at the moment he's feeling a bit poorly today he's got a real stomach ache <laughs> no worries let him sleep oh i'm so excited we've had a good talk and he's promised to change his ways i mean he's not going to be chatting much now is he so he's not going to be able to insult you <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> he couldn't if he tried. <laughs> Are you 
are you? Hungry? I... I should be on a diet, but... It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. Well, good, good for you! My secret recipe! Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, well you, you left it on a dead person's... Oh, so nice of you. Head. I shouldn't, but... <laughs> we'll take it to our graves or your grave which I think is about to happen very soon and Harrison's grave <laughs> look at me dancing look, 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 look at me dancing <laughs> sorry I'm not I'll stop. I'll stop. here's your smoothie you crazy girl Oh, that just so good. Are you something Harrison's never heard before? Yes. <laughs> right. I don't know. Didn't we want? That definitely have to taste in my mouth. Do you add a little honey? Uh, not quite. She's what? definitely gonna miss the career so I Back up, Agnes, Agnes, back up. Back Agnes, back up. Leave the room right now. Then what have we done? Okay, that's kinda not what I was expecting to happen. So that's what, how many are we down now? Three? Yeah, because there was the little girl, there was one we just blew up, and then there's been this one. Do you think we could poke her and go, excuse me, do you have any blueberry pie? <laughs> um, oh! Jerry, Hi. do you realise how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? You seem like you've got a lot of experience. We just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. I do not I'm wish to go back anywhere. To my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. If the proposition is believing me, be. no. Trust me. No. No, don't touch me. Joe, whatever she's got to say, <laughs> do not trust this woman. <laughs> whatever she's got to say, don't steal it. She's not a real person. I don't appreciate her, if I'm honest. <laughs> I mean, I think this is basically where we've got to go anyway. Um, so I think she's on the fourth floor, isn't she? sure it was the fourth floor. Was it the fourth floor? Yeah, it was. I think. I'm sure. Can I do anything with the piano now? Play. Let's play the piano! I'd love to be able to play the piano. But I'm... Hey, I know this one. It's, uh... It's Coldplay, right? No. Play more. Because I think this is a reference to the cat lady and the song that Mitzi wants. I am the music man. So I can play it well. I can play it not very well. Not very well at all. But I'm sure I've heard it before. Keep playing. I've almost got it. Keep playing. How do you like this song? I feel like owed to a. Pretty good, Joe. Yeah. Uh, haven't played in years. Anyway, that's enough. We don't want to spend all day fooling around. Aww. We played the fun. <laughs> Better if we just went. Boom! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right. 
run. <laughs> right, um, laboratory, manager's office. And here's my American boy. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> but I don't think it's a just, no, he just picks her up and throws her. <laughs> He just picks a bag of her and throws her at the, at the piano. So, uh, I think if he plays it, she joins it. <laughs> I should kill you right here, right now, for all that you've done to us. You should have warned us. You should have told us. No. I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. Kill her. What's stopping you, Joe? Uh, hmm. Once I finish this step. Um don't push, push me. me. Why not, Joan? Do you get violent when you're pushed against the wall? I get something when I'm pushed Nothing against the wall. Nothing. <laughs> I just wanted you to admit that. <laughs> don't get pushed up and also against the wall as often as I'd like. <laughs> it's time you've told me who you really are. You know very well who I am. No, I don't. I am your secret little desire, Joe. No, you're not. Your perfect woman. Yeah, really not. I'm never bitter or tired or not in the mood. Men are more than their emotions. And strong and spontaneous. You're also a raging bitch. You with my baggage of problems. You are the problem. Poison your life. You are the poison. Hide from you. You should. <laughs> Now is the perfect Please do. time for us to reconcile. No. To forget about that little bitch Ivy. No, I'm good, thanks. To run away and be happy. No. Could what literally think of nothing worse. Um. No. Well. I'm not that kind of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. Exactly. And you were always there for her. Exactly. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. Yep, no. You know what? I helped you once Stay away. When I left that key on the desk. Stay I'll away. In just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. You can all though. But let's play a little game first. Cool. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere. Good girl, you say that. The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her, but we might have And on that bombshell, we are going to leave it there for today. I can feel Chadwin like, no, tell me how it ends. <laughs> so we'll likely finish this off tomorrow. Um, and then I've got a few other spoopy games in mind. So don't worry. I'll save it again. <laughs> uh, no. That was the feathery. There we go. Right. We will quit. Ta da! <laughs> Am I that transparent? <laughs> Maybe! Just a smidgy! <laughs> Just a smidgy bit! You, you have been um, very consistent, shall we say, when it comes to uh, <laughs> me playing this game. <laughs> and, and the other one as well. But it's a good thing. It's not it's not a bad thing to be enjoying it. Let's go set up a raid. Let's let's go let's go do a raidy runo. Let us go and do are we gonna do a raidy runo? Are we gonna do a raidy runo? I've enjoyed them. It's a good thing. Like I said, it's it's good. It's nice to know that people are actually enjoying it. Because sometimes I oh sorry, 
sometimes that's my worry when I play some of these games that actually um, people aren't enjoying them as much as I like. So seeing somebody get really, really annoyed with me because I'm leaving is, is a good thing. Oh my God, what can I set up a rainy Bruno, please? Please, Twitch. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. God, if this was any freaking slower. Ooh, let's go raid into Galactic. I've not had a chance to raid into Galactic in freaking ages. Nice, let's go set that up. Okay, so I will be back tomorrow um, and I will likely probably be finishing this off uh, depending on how, how long it is actually thing. It's, Dan seems to be nodding in the background, so I think that's that's probably going to be uh that's going to finish off tomorrow um so as always thank you for watching thank you for talking thank you for lurking uh love and appreciate every single one of you um go give some love to intergalactic and i will see you all tomorrow have a good rest of your day bye now <coughs>